Hello, I'm Thomas Rudy, former head of the Department of Surgery, Canton Spital, Kur, Switzerland. I'm also a founding member and honorary member of the AO Foundation, and I was president of AO International from 2000 to 2005. The second edition of the AO Principles book was expanded to about a thousand pages, which now required a two volume format. The first volume contains the principles, the second is dedicated to the specific fractures. The content of the first volume on principles is supposed to show the evolution from the originally more technical and mechanistic aspect of fracture fixation to a more biological approach to fracture treatment. While the original AO principle of absolute stability still has its place and indication, we need today a more flexible approach to fracture fixation with relative stability and newer technologies. The introduction of the technically new principle of the internal fixator with locking head screws providing angular stability to plates has revolutionized this kind of fixation. Together with minimally invasive techniques, the LIS and LCP plates now offer the possibility to bridge a fracture zone without exposing it, thereby preserving the vascularity and caring for the soft tissues, which seems to improve fracture healing and reduces the complications. All this, however, requires more emphasis on modern imaging, decision-making and preoperative planning, as well as appreciation and estimation of the importance of indirect reduction techniques that help to care for the soft tissues. The chapters on polytrauma, open fractures, antibiotics and pediatrics fractures have been updated as well. A completely new chapter concerns the challenging fractures of the geriatric patient, which is covered in a separate chapter on osteoporosis. In spite of many innovations, some of which are covered in the new chapter on biotechnology, there will also be complications that accompany operative fracture management. These are addressed and carefully discussed in a separate chapter. Volume two on specific fractures is organized according to the location of the injury. Patient assessment, treatment options, reduction and surgical tricks and hints are discussed in detail, as well as the post-operative treatment, pitfalls and the results. Again, an accompanying DVD contains all the text, some 2,000 illustrations, and the complete series of instructional videos. This second edition of the book appeared in December 2007 and has been translated since into eight different languages. Finally, we hope that the second edition of the AO Principles of Fracture Management will be the reference textbook to orthopedic residents, trauma fellows, and all surgeons taking care of the injured patient.